Hello, I'm Dr. Dan Perkins. I'm a professor of psychology at Richland College. And I wanted to talk to you today uh, briefly about uh, Psychology 2301. Psychology 2301 is Introduction to Psychology. Uh, and it is the gateway to all advanced classes in psychology. Uh, it's the most popular class across the country. That is to say, if you give a college student a chance to take any class they want across the country, they're uh, most likely to elect Psychology 2301. So uh, I thought I might speak a little bit about what you could expect from uh, Psychology 2301. What areas are covered, uh, what are some of the uh, <clears throat> variations in the class, and so on. Uh, typically, Psychology 2301 begins with a history of the field. It looks at psychology before modern psychology, which occurred a little over 100 years ago, and then it looks at modern psychology, looking at research techniques that uh, modern psychologists utilize and uh, uh, trying to understand how they utilize the scientific method. Uh, <clears throat> then uh, the next uh, field that's uh, typically dealt with is uh, the area of the neuroscience and biological aspects of psychology. Here you look at the brain, the brain structures, uh, the hormonal system, and so on. Uh, that's typically followed by uh, understanding learning and memory. Here you can expect some applications that might uh, help you in school, how to learn more efficiently and effectively, uh, how to enhance memory strategies. Psychologists uh, since uh, Herman Ebbinghaus in 1885 have learned a lot about memory and how to uh, enhance and increase memory. Uh, another area uh, that's discussed is uh, human development. It's called lifespan development and it looks at development from conception to death, looking at all of the different things that occur uh, along the way uh, from uh, childhood through uh, early, later childhood to adulthood um, to later development. Sensation and perception is another aspect of introductory psychology, uh, looking at the, the sensory organs, the eyes, the ears, how they work, and so on, and, and how the brain coordinates this information and makes sense out of the world, which is the perception area. Consciousness is another uh, field that's discussed here, psychologists look at areas like sleep, hypnosis, drug states, and so on. Emotion and motivation is another aspect of uh, Psychology 2301. Here you could expect to learn some things about emotions, how they occur, what one could do to control them. Uh, in terms of motivation, uh, you could expect to learn about how people are motivated, how you might actually use some of these ideas to motivate yourself uh, in school and at work and so on. <clears throat> Personality theories uh, also as a, as a component of Psychology 2301. Here you look at uh, major theorists like Sigmund Freud, Abraham Maslow, <clears throat> looking at some of their ideas and you could expect to gain some insight about your own personality uh, by studying uh, what various theorists uh, have had to say and uh, their applications of personality theory. Uh, the uh, next chapter is usually uh, deals with uh, mental health disorders or psychological disorders, such things as depression, <clears throat> uh, personality disorders, stress are discussed. And then finally, the course ends up talking about how, what psychologists do uh, to assist people who might have these psychological disorders. Uh, and uh, this chapter is typically called psychotherapy or therapies. So these are some of the <clears throat> things that you could expect from Psychology 2301. I should mention that there are some uh, variations of this class. Uh, for example, there is one uh, Psychology 2301 uh, section, or maybe there's more than one section, that emphasizes African American issues. So if you're interested in African American issues, you may want to sign up uh, for that class. Another very uh, slight variation from the topics that I've mentioned uh, is uh, deals with positive psychology. Positive psychology emphasizes, in addition to the things I've mentioned, uh, things like uh, attitudes, um, for example, uh, people who are uh, pessimistic versus people who are optimistic, uh, and uh, such things such as that. This is a new hot growing area in psychology, <clears throat> which came from uh, one of the personality theorists, Abraham Maslow, who uh, 
Q psychology of knowing more about people who had mental disorders than people who were well adjusted. And so out of this criticism developed a field of positive psychology that looks at uh, the more positive aspects of psychology. So uh, all of these things um, are aspects of Psychology 2301 and I think you could uh, gain some things that would help you enhance your school efficiency and work efficiency. Thank you.